Hello everyone, Whilst 21 here and welcome to another video. So how to monitor your GPU and CPU temperatures at a glance. Going to be adding them down to the bottom right, this, the uh, taskbar, and here's how you do it. First of all, we want hardware info. So just go to hwinfo.com and then just hit the free download on your screen. And then you see install on the left hand side. This is the one you want. Just click the free uh, download and local. Oh, any of them will do. And here we go. We download it. Open it up. Just click yes on the pop up. And we just want to install it. Install it to wherever you want. So next, 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 install. Obviously, you can read all the information on there you want to. You get another pop up to say yes. And here we go. We are now installing. Let's just minimize that. So we want everything. So click start to actually install it. And we will now let this install. So here we are, we are now literally open. So let's just uh, close it all down. It's all looking nice and fancy now. Uh, probably seeing it black because of um, literally I'm using a dark theme. So once you have this out open, you want to click sensors. Click sensors. And that pops here, so I'll just drag it down to the center. This is your sensor panel right by here. So we are looking for two in particular. We're looking for one that says CPU package. So just scroll down a little bit until we see CPU package. Uh, so we've got the CPU core, CPU package power. It's not the one we actually want. We're looking for the CPU package. So let's just keep scrolling. Yeah, CPU temp, uh, GPU temperature here is one that we do want, so we will do this one first since we're here. When I right click, click this add to tray, you see the bottom right it is just added to the tray. And uh, I've actually gone past the CPU once, so scroll all the way back up towards the CPU package. And. Do we die? Oh, so it's actually here. It is temperature so we got the core temperature there as well so this is the one that we want right now so just uh, right click that add to tray and we'll see it's come down the bottom here but it's coming too what you want to do is you want to click them drag them down to the bottom there's one there's two there is your two so you've got your gpu in yellow here for me and a uh, core in red so that is um obviously your cpu as well as your gpu you can change it to whatever you want. So um, some will say core temperatures that like mine is. Others will say uh, CPU package because that's obviously like what I was trying to look for earlier on. So now we just want to click this gear configuration icon right by here. And we are looking for the system tray icon. So you'll see here it says tray icon. And this is a different one here. So you got core. So you see there that the core is in red. So if we click that, we can change the color by here. So whatever you want to make it, if you want to make it yellow, for example, you see it's just changed that to yellow. I do not like that. Um, I did quite like the red actually. So let's keep that one red. But the GPU one, let's scroll down to wherever the GPU one is. So that's CPU. So we're we looking at the right here. So it says in tray, all these say no. We're looking for the one that says yes. Oh, I just went past it. There is it. And that's orange. Let's just change this one to, I don't know, light blue. Let's try that one. What does that look like? You can't really see that. So let's try a dark blue. There we are. You can see that quite nicely. So GPU there is in dark blue and... Um, uh, CPU is in red. Just click OK and close out of this. So it uh, looks like hardware info has actually changed a few things. I don't know if it's just Windows 11 thing or not, but uh, normally you go to settings on the main page, but you stick in you. We go back to the settings, so the configuration settings, and um, uh, this is where we went to the tray icons. But I was looking for other settings um, for the main setup. Then you're in the main settings on the bottom right. If you click on this, 
this is where the general user interface settings has now changed to. So we're going to set up how to uh, activate all this when you first boot in to Windows. So there we go, Alt Start for starters. Click that, um, background's just changed. Uh, sorry, I've got a, a random selection background in background. Um, so a couple of things that we want to do. Show system summary on starter. Uh, we don't want that anymore. Show sensors on startup. We do want that. Minimize main window to startup. Uh, I'm going to uh, select that to that. What that means is it's just going to minimize down to the bottom straight away. Minimize sensors on startup. Yeah, so that's going to bring it all down here and won't bring any pop up. Uh, minimize sensors instead of closing. Uh, yes, we, we want that as well. Show um, welcome screen and progress. No, I don't actually want that. Um, validate, I'm not sure what that actually does. Automatic updates, yeah, sure. Flash buffers and start. Hey, fair enough, I'll just keep all this on. But that's effectively what we want to do there. Auto start for sure, and as well as uh, just show sensors and minimize everything straight down to the bottom down there. So that is essentially what we do and we can check for updates and efforts. So all you do is click OK, um, click OK on this screen, you can close it down, and there we go. Now that we close that down, it hasn't actually closed it down, just put it down the bottom here of your um, taskbar on Windows 11. And again, GPU temperature and CPU temperature. So you just, uh, at a glance, you could just say, oh, I'm playing the game, or oh, what's my temperature? Look down there. That is literally it. And when you restart your computer, it will be down there. So that's, that's how you um, mon quickly monitor your CPU and GPU temperatures in Windows 11, uh, free of charge. Like I said, the download link would be in the description down below to do that. You just see me do everything here on this uh, video. Um, if this video is helpful to you, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. If it wasn't, thumbs down, comment down below as well. Thank you all to my Patreon subscribers. Their names are coming up at the top right of the screen as well as uh, the people in the lower tiers. Um, thank you all to you guys as well. It's all great, uh, gratefully appreciated. If you'd like to help me and support me on Patreon, link is down below, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Ciao for now, everyone.